warrior will start by manning a mounted M240 machine gun in the back of a Jeep Wrangler. As an instructor drives him down the range, the warrior will engage enemy targets until a simulated IED goes off. The warrior must then drag an injured driver dummy to safety and engage targets on foot with his rifle until he gets to the end of the range. The warrior with the slowest times after penalties will be eliminated from the competition. Let's do some uh, driving and shooting for 240. It's a machine gun. I think this is going to be pretty badass. Anytime you can run around shooting 240s, engaging targets, running from cover to cover, getting your heart rate up and you're shooting guns. It's always a blast. I dismounted the vehicle, grabbed my buddy who was laying on the ground. It took me two attempts to get him all the way up onto my shoulder. It's standard. <laughs> grabbed the dummy, just looked for the closest piece of cover I saw. Didn't really look around after that, ran for it, dropped him off, just continued to shoot and move. I didn't see any hidden targets, but now that you're asking me, there probably are. I'm probably It was more of a bounding through uh, vehicles to engage a target. We're versatile in everything. So going from a pistol to a machine gun causes no controversy at all. It was fun, it was fast paced. Something you don't get to do every day. You never know. I mean, someone can have an off day, but it's still a blast. As you know, at the end of each event, I have to eliminate the warrior with the lowest score. Every one of you is a true hero, but only one of you can be the maximum warrior. The warrior with the lowest score at the mounted IED ambush event is Cody. Pleasure. You're not the maximum warrior. The rest of you warriors are safe until the next event. Don't be fooled by the on-road nature of this challenge as it's full of surprises and requires speed, quick decisions, and strength. Warriors must get their primary 180-pound dummy around the track twice and across the finish line while making crucial decisions along the way. The warrior with the slowest time will be eliminated from the competition, leaving only our final three warriors.